a budget-friendly way to wire your alternator, a high-amp alternator, stereos, or other high-amp equipment on a budget is jumper cables. Because uh, we picked up 25-foot uh, jumper cables for about $25. $29. Yeah. So and 50. it was 60 Oh, 60 huh. So, yeah, so this really saved us a lot of money. And if you see, this is a future project coming up, but we're wiring this uh, Jeep up. We're doing some, we're re rewiring the amplifier and the alternator. But we're just going to go into jumper cable. So we're going to show you how you uh, uh, cut the ends off, of course. You need proper tools. This, this, and of course the terminations. You need a pair of scissors to split them. And other good stuff. But y'all, after the intro, you'll see all that. So y'all stay with us. So to get this in, I was, first I spray it with a little PD beat blaster to lube up the two. Okay. Oh, so much dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't touch capacitors. One. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> He just sees the broom. Ha! We wanted to put a uh, two gauge wire. So I picked up these jumper cables and it's two gauge. And just take a pair of scissors and you can cut it to however long you want. I guess I could put the connectors back on and have a shorter jumper cables. But these jumper cables were about $25 to get the two gauge wire I need in 10 foot was $60. So I think that's a better deal. Also have connectors and heat shrink so we can connect it up. Then you, when you want to cut heavy gauge wire you need a, I guess these are a big set of dikes and this is to actually put our connectors on. This goes from two gauge down to I think it's uh, 8 gauge or maybe 6 gauge, but these should get the job done. I'm going to turn your back around from here. Mm -hmm. So to split these jumper cables, you just take a pair of scissors and you go down the center and start cutting. You can't pull them apart? No, you can't pull them apart. You, you'll, you can damage the sheathing. You can also damage the sheathing with the scissors, so you have to go real slow. I'm gonna let my son do this. Mm -hmm. But, there. And that gives us a two gauge ground cable and a two gauge positive cable. And these are really thick wires. So, and they're very bendable. Oh, you're using mom's kitchen scissors. Yeah, you gave it to me. I know. They cut much better. So now we're going to make up our connectors. So I use the, the just the wire cutters to strip the wire. Now, when you're stripping wire, you want to take a, you measure off the connector, and that's about how much you want to get off. No more. Yeah, paint. Paint. Oh, paint. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new paint. So cut it right about there. If you cut off too much, you're going to... I scratched it. No, I didn't. And just twist your wire. If the wire's too long, twist the, the pliers. But don't push on the pliers too hard or you're cut through the strands of wire. I'm sure they make scrippers for these, I just don't have them. All the way through. Yeah, there we go. And there. 
Now we strip the cable. Now I like to I like to turn it a little bit because uh, I think it just makes it easier to get the connector off. Let's see if I and that connector is too small. That connector fits good. Now, I like to crimp them once close. Right there? Right there. Why is that hard? There you go. And then I like to do one far away. Now, you should always put your, uh, your heat shrink on on long cables before yeah. you grip them. What setting is that at? Hard? That's like for a millimeter of cable. Okay. I think what's happening is I'm getting them too greasy. I can't even get them on. I am too sweaty and, and, and whatever. So I can't even get them on. They can barely go on now. Okay, that's good enough. That's perfect. That's what we want. So it's covering the, the plastic. So our my son, who's not slimy and sweaty, put this on and it's perfect. Now, what, hand me the hand gun? Yeah. It's right there. That was getting some tape off my feet. Oh. Yeah, you have a lot of garage cleaning to do. Ah, oh, yeah. You make a mess. And that's sealed up nicely. Don't hit your feet on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to do the rest of the cables. Same principle. So we got the uh, two gauge wire on. It fits in there very snugly. We hope this was helpful for you. Um, $25 versus $60, big savings. Of course, we have the cost of other equipment we're using. You'll see that in a past video where we installed the alternator or a future video where we're rewiring the Jeep, light bar and everything, it's gone. So, a lot of work coming in here, dash out, ton of work. But, if, if you're looking for great eats, good recipes, check out Dining In With Danielle. My wife cooks delicious food every day, and she shares a recipe with you every week. You think her food's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he eats it all. So, and if you like our channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there, it looks like this. And, uh, boy, my son, he's tall. He's uh, graduating and stuff. Mm -hmm. And y'all, please take care. <laughs> Do we still need these? Are we going no. to reuse these? No, we're not going to reuse them. Okay. We're using all the battery cables for running uh, stuff. Mm.